That's right, folks. It's the Vagrants Valet, and today we are out on the streets helping out the homeless with a ride, with a kind word, and some encouragement. Speaking of helping out, special thanks to vigilant Vagrants Valet viewer Mary Magdalene. She chipped in a few coins to help out around here. She followed the link in the description below. Mary Magdalene, thank you. And now, folks, hop in the car with me, the official Vagrants Valet command vehicle, and let's get to work. Ding, ding. Hey, hey brother, you, you want to ride? I can get you, get you to where you need to go if you want. Oh, absolutely. Hop on in. I can see you got a bunch of stuff there. <laughs> I'd be delighted to. Hop on in. Make yourself at home. I appreciate it. Yeah, take a free ride like that Edgar Winter song goes. You remember that one? Yeah. Little little Edgar Winter? No? Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what do you got going on today? I uh, was just hunting down sugar boots. Oh. Were you having any luck? Yeah, I found a couple. What, is it like Easter eggs, kind of? <laughs> same, the same concept they only put on my spider-man glasses i don't i don't normally wear these because i don't want to scare people what's your name man jerry jerry right on i'm zook i'll take you wherever you want to go jerry all right Appreciate i'll just get turned around here i think i can go this way yeah so what uh are you uh living down that way or are you on the yeah, streets or i was homeless but i got an apartment down here at katie accord oh cool cool how long were you living on the streets oh man most of my life really yeah well, how'd you how'd you get out of it i see a lot of people homeless around here and yeah, was it the uh, rapid rehousing thing yeah i didn't even sign up for it but i was staying at friend's place and somehow they put me on the list got me an apartment took about eight months is a uh, friend's place is that uh do you get your like your own room there? Is it like the no. barracks? Yeah, it's more like people all together in prison. Oh. Bunk beds. There were about 50 men in one room. It, it, how are the accommodations there? Mm. Uh, it, they're changing stuff around, so yeah, they're mostly letting ladies stay there now instead of men. What did they they booted the dudes out? Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Get my deadline. And then they're doing no more programs, so I was lucky to get out there. Well, so how much? It, 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 how much do you have to come up with? Is it a total freebie, or, uh, or do you have to pay for the corners, heater? Going through Cornerstones, I guess they're paying the rent. I've been there about two and a half months, three months. So it's just it's totally subsidized then. Yeah. You, you don't have to come up with a portion like the Duke Energy or any of that? Mm, not yet. Mm. And I'm done by a doctor's appointment. There goes my little friend. <laughs> oh, you know that dude? That's a lady. Oh. Does she live over here too? Yeah, she lives uh, a couple apartments over. Oh. And me and her have now have cigarettes and we share each other cigarette butts and stuff. Hmm. Did you guys have a birthday bash? Yeah, she did. She what? Came over and had some edibles. Oh, like that marijuana stuff? Yeah. What, did things get rowdy? No, we just, I'm quiet anyway. What? <laughs> what? Would you listen to listen to some Grateful Dead records? No, I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So did you, um... And she lives up that way. Oh, is this... I've never been back in this neighborhood before. Is this a lot of the subsidized housing for the... Yeah, pretty for, much. For, for the... I live right in here. Oh, so, all right, well, so, yeah, I'll just turn around up here. What do you have going on for the rest of the day? Over, so I'm gonna wait on her. Mm -hmm. You ever, you ever make it to church on Sundays or any of that kind of thing? Nah, I don't 
do church. Mm. Well, it's always always an option. It's always you know, it's always fun people. They're always nice. Right. And what, what else do you have to do on Sunday morning? Get you to where you need to go here, Jay. Right here, anyway, by the blue car. Oh, yeah. Which, which, which crib's yours? Uh, right here on the corner. Oh, look at that. You got a nice view of the highway there and everything. Yeah, got a big ass front yard. Yeah, yeah. You can practice your uh, pra practice your putting there. I just got the door handle fixed. Right that on. door handle didn't work and it would like freak people out. Because when you jump in the car with a stranger and all of a sudden the door handle doesn't work, it seems a little bit odd. So yeah. I didn't I didn't want to scare anybody. Yeah, but hey, do it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, Jerry, if you see me around, wave. I'll give you a ride if I can help out with everything. Right you, you seem like you're doing okay. I'll look for you and you look yeah. for me. Is that a deal? Yeah, right on. Okay, Jerry. All right. All right. Thank see you. you. See you, brother. Yep. Uh, be safe. Right on. I will. Okay. Now, with Jerry there, there's a guy who was living in the homeless shelter. I believe it's called Friends Place. Here in town, there's a couple of those. And apparently, he wasn't even really looking for government subsidized housing but they gave it to him anyway and this neighborhood is pretty good looking everything's pretty clean I see a lot of cars i don't see a lot of junk cars it's very uh very middle class um as jerry said he doesn't isn't required i don't think to make any contribution towards his housing um i know sometimes the people have to come up with a portion of the rent and the Duke Energy and the utilities. That didn't seem to be the case there. But like I said, this is right off the main, one of the main thoroughfares here in town. Nice looking neighborhood. It's not all bombed out or anything. And um, it seems like Jerry's doing okay. And hey, if you like the cut of my jib, folks, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment here. And now I better take these uh, Spider-Man <laughs> glasses off as I go to find somebody else who needs a ride because I don't want to scare anybody. So uh, we'll see what's up next. Ding, ding. Hey, hey, brother, you need a ride somewhere? Uh, I got a new Berkey. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, good luck to you, man. I saw you had a lot of gear. That's all right, appreciate it. Ah, here's another one right away here. See what's going on here. Ding ding. Hey, you need a ride? I can I can give you a lift if you want. No, thank you. Don't let this hat scare you. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. See ya. Thank you.